so um, I've been working on some of the buildings. I think uh, you saw this one briefly in a short, as well as this one over here. And I'm gonna go over them a little bit more. This is a uh, Fowler kit. What happened was I was getting ready to finish it off because I had uh, kind of pre-assembled part of it so I could designate the area for the station. Well, I went to looking for the box and number one, I didn't have the instructions. So, and I really couldn't find the box. So when I got the instructions from Fowler, they were kind enough to uh, email them to me. I noticed I didn't have all of the parts. For example, the chimneys, uh, I did find the two roofs for these two sections here, but not the front. This is supposed to be kind of, I think, uh, a glass kind of topped roof, a see-through roof. So I had to 3D print that. And then the posts are the uh, Q-tip shafts. So that's why I call it modified. And I had gotten the vents, these two vents from a friend of mine a couple of years ago. And these chimneys all came um, from, I guess it was an accessory kit that some building had. They were all done in, uh, I think like a, a cast uh, tin lead antimony, type thing like we used to use for uh, uh, wargaming uh, figures. But uh, so anyway, so I, I found the chimneys, put the chimneys on it, 3D printed the roof. So to complete that, uh, that station, and I did get the name. This is Jamestown, it's on either side. And uh, so that building will be, uh, representing this station in Topeka. Um, it's close to the original one that used to be there, but it was a red brick and I'm, I'm not gonna go back and re repaint the brick, but it was similar to the way that thing is constructed. Uh, this is, and now let me move some of the cars. This is a, uh, a freight house and it's hard to see but one of my uh, decals for the paradigm division is is there and it's got the ship santa fe i think it's on both sides yep and it's faded into the uh, to the brick so and this one came off i think it's like River Street Terminal or something like that. I had about three of them and I've been using them in, in different places. This building, the next building, as I move the cars, and this area is not finished yet. I'm just trying to catch up on doing some of the buildings. This is, in fact, a Kibri kit. And uh, it's a running family joke. Um, my son-in-law, uh, Ray Schwartz, um, had tools when, when he still lived in Texas the first time, and then he decided to get out of it, so he gave me all the tools. So, uh, But anyway, that's kind of the running joke. So, But this is a, a kit that I've had pretty much put together over the years that just needed to finished painting it and weathering it and I added uh, some things here on the on the loading dock so when that's gets finished it'll the area will look will look a lot better this is the building I've been working on and another problem was and and this is a Walters kit and I have a a couple of um, storage tanks for flour going over here and one of the reasons why i stuck with this kit is because i do have two of the uh, the cars for the red wing milling kit that i got 
I think used for men's scale supply a few years ago. So when I started working on this kit, I says, okay, let me go find the box. So I went to look for, for the box and guess what? No box. So I didn't have anything other than the main building because that's what I had put together. So I didn't have any of these industrial dust collectors. I didn't have the pipe coming down, no roof, and none of these three decks. There's supposed to be a ladder here, but I didn't, I didn't want to do the ladder. And then it didn't have, uh, th this is supposed to be like, I guess, for heavy, heavy duty lifting up into either one of these doors up higher. But that's, if you look at the picture, that's pretty close to it, other than the ladder missing. And I guess there's supposed to be a chimney here, but I don't want them too high to block the Tulsa station. But anyway, um, what I had to do is I had to 3D print the roof and the uh, industrial uh, dust collectors and the frame that goes around it and also the uh, three decks here and the railings. The railings are the same as what I, what I put on the uh, uh, tank car loading docks. I just shortened them up. Um, so anyway, that's the one I just, just finished today. It's been here a while. It looks nasty. It's just, it's just the way it is. It's an old industry. So uh, this building, that building, that building, and the station are essentially done for the time being. I because I do need to do the area around it, and I got to finish the uh, the two storage tanks for the uh, milling company. So the next two buildings, um, this is a, st a storage building. It used to be an ice house. It's actually cut in half. So I'll be working on this one and this one. But uh, for the time being, uh, this area is done. And uh, I had a couple of my subscribers had commented that they'd like to see the buildings a little bit more. But uh, the nice thing about having a 3D printer is that when you're missing parts, like here and on this station, you can go back and make them yourself. Um, I would have bought another one of the Red Wing milling, except for the price. I mean, I printed those things for uh, 15 cents, something like that. And the new building's like $40, $50. And this one over here to get the missing parts of this building now costs $94. And that was probably about the same price. I mean, all this other stuff, the uh, the chimneys and things, I already had those. And so it's just the cost of printing the roof and pieces of the Q-tips that I already had in a box in my office. So, But anyway, that's where we are for now. And uh, I can't use my Bamboo Lab A1 right now because there's a recall on the... Uh, heating element for the uh, print bed and uh, that's supposed to be coming out sometime the end of next month so in the meantime I'm I'm using my Anycubic Viper for doing some of the work so anyway we'll see you next time bye